I know the Senate President did say he would do everything in his power to make sure the bill gets reintroduced to the Senate. Now, if that does happen, what should we be doing, not just women now as Nigerians, to make sure it doesn't get defeated a second time? What are some of the things we can do actively? Yeah, I think that your legislators need to hear from you. And they need to hear from you in a way that they understand. So it's conversations, it's letters, it's phone calls. In case your representative is not checking Twitter, then maybe they don't know that this is important. So ultimately, it's the voters that put them into office. So you have to communicate to them and let them know that you're serious. Yeah. But then you also have to keep it at the top of the agenda. It's very popular now. But when the bill is reintroduced, are we going to forget about Still it? be passionate about yeah, it. Yeah, and go on to the next issue. So it's about that consistency and organizing to make an impact. Okay, let's let's move on back to you, <laughs> to what you're doing, Anna. <laughs> There's a boot camp coming up in Abuja. Yes. She Hive. What, how, is that a part of She Leads Africa? Is that an arm? What exactly is She Hive about and what is this boot camp supposed to do? Yes. So what we've seen is that not everyone is ready to go start a business tomorrow. It takes work. It takes time. And we want to support young women along their journey towards success. So our website has articles, it has free classes, it has guides, but maybe you want to talk to someone one-on-one -on -one and you want to get advice and feedback. And that's where She Hive comes up. It's a four-day program that's really focused on learning new skills, connecting with mentors, and developing your network. So we're excited to bring it to Abuja. We've done one in Lagos. We've done one in Accra. Abuja is next. We'll be in Nairobi. We'll be in London. This is a Pan-African and Diaspora program. We'll have speakers, including the Minister of Finance will be there. The Governor of Kaduna will be there. We'll also have young women entrepreneurs who will talk about their experience in negotiations and investments. So it's really about if you're ready to go to that next level with your business, so you're ready to rise up in the corporate ladder, it's an opportunity for you to focus understand what your goals and aspirations are and get a game plan to help you get there. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to wonder what sorts of skills you would need, for example, to pitch to an investor as a woman, uh, different from what a guy would naturally do. And just to deviate a bit, I did see something uh, on CNN a, a couple of weeks ago where they were talking about how uh, differently men and women go ask for a pay, pay raise mm -hmm. and they were both staff of CNN and they walked into the HR, uh, head of HR's office and the man was a little more, you know, energetic and, you know, stated st concretely what he thinks he's done for the organization. The lady on the other hand was a little more, she was nicer. Yes. Let me just use that word. <laughs> is that what you find generally? And is that a bad thing? Definitely. I think part of the problem is when we think about leadership or we think about entrepreneurs, we think about people who are out there, who are loud, who can state their case, who will push back. And while that's definitely some young women, that's definitely not a lot of young women. Um, and so we're judging people based on what we assume to be the qualities of a good leader. So for us, we want to help young women understand that. And many people don't even realize that maybe they don't come off as confident or as yeah. serious. So there is the process of understanding the basics, like knowing the questions that investors are going to ask, knowing how to talk about your numbers, but there's also the presentation and the confidence. And we record people, we're gonna show them what they look like when they're on stage so that they can see, okay, this is what the story I'm telling with my body language and this is how I can improve. Yeah. How do you draw the line for, for women now? Because I've heard women complain sometimes that, oh, when I try to appear yeah. confident, I get seen as a threat. <laughs> so how do you draw the line between you know, stating your case and not being a threat? Yeah. Or if you didn't even matter if you're a threat? No, that's one, that's one I don't even know the answer to because I get it as well. So they'll yeah, call forward. you a threat, yes, or all kinds of other words. So it's a dangerous yeah. one, and it really depends on the audience. And hopefully you're with people who are supportive and people who want to see you do well. But if you're in a space where someone says, oh, no, this person... In Ghana, we call it to know. If they're to know, mm -hmm. uh, then maybe that's not the best space for you. And we encourage the women in our community to go find supportive people, partners that really want to see you succeed, because those people will give you feedback and will be encouraging, as opposed to trying to limit you and keep you down. So, who, who's gonna, who should attend this? So, it's open to anyone, men and women, who are interested in learning something new around business, around entrepreneurship, who is looking to network. We think it's really important to meet other people you can start a business with, you can find collaboration opportunities with. And I think all the time we're so busy with the hustle, just day to day, traffic, trying to find fuel, all these things. You don't get time to take a break and really think about what you want to achieve 
in the complex. You know, the first quarter is finished. Now we're like, okay, three months have gone. What what have I uh, done I yet? Know. Besides queuing. Is that <laughs> it? Uh, so this is the time to sit and think about what have I done and what else do I want to accomplish and how can I get there? So regardless of sector, you can attend. Absolutely. From a hairstylist to an, an, a, a, an astronaut. Yes, any matter. kind. Yes. Now you said men. I heard you say men. Thanks. Yes. Oftentimes we do have men come and because they think the classes are interesting. They want to hear the topics. And so we encourage anyone to come in. Okay. Why is it a boot camp though? What, what exactly is going to be? Yeah, so we don't like the term conference because maybe okay. because we think we're fresh and young, but conference just seems like you sit there and people are talking at you. And that's not what this is about. It's very interactive and it's really focused on skill building. Okay. So it's a boot camp because we're going to be in there and we're focused on once you leave this training, you will leave with these skills and you'll be ready to go do this. So during the we do one around customer research because many entrepreneurs, they think people just want to buy their product because it's nice. And we're like, well, have you talked to anyone about it? But during that class, we say, go outside and go talk to people. And one entrepreneur did that and she actually got two customers because she left the training. She went out there, she put into practice the things she had learned, got the customers and now has it in her plan. So it's not to just sit around and listen, it's to do work. Great stuff. I, I see something also about uh, screening and testing, cervical, cervical screening, screening and breast testing or something. What exactly? Yes. So we, it's all about a holistic experience. Like you can't just hustle, hustle, hustle and not take care of yourself as well. So we'll have a session focused on health and wellness in your 20s and 30s and things that you should be aware of as a young woman, of course, as a career woman, and know what you're working on. So we're excited to have um, free vouchers for health screenings, but we'll also have a medical doctor there to talk about things you should be aware of. We'll also have a dermatologist to talk about skin care and, and health. And I know we all think that we don't get skin cancer, but it's very possible. So talking about those issues, and it's an open environment. I don't think many young women get the chance to just sit and ask a doctor these questions and what's going on in their mind. So we're really excited for that session as well. Do I have to have a career to come here? Like, if I'm just fresh out of school, I don't have an idea what I want to do. No, there's, you a don't. People, there's a lot of people who are in that space. Absolutely. And so many people come just to learn and just to see what other people are doing out there and how can they either intern or how can they find a mentor and how can they get support. So you don't have to already be in a career and know exactly where you're heading. We also want this to be an exploration process to listen and learn and think about. Is this something that I like? Is this something that I don't like? So we're excited for a jam-packed weekend. Great stuff. We're looking forward to that. And just before we go, if someone's watching now who's, who's I don't know, in Asaba, just somewhere random, and <laughs> is like, okay, I can't make it to Abuja, but I mean, this bubble, like, what do you say to a young lady who comes to you and says, oh, I'm in a fix. How can I find myself? What, what's the one thing or two things they need to be doing? Yeah, the first thing is go to sheleadsafrica.org. <laughs> um, but like, it's so hard to see other people like you. If you're a young woman and you're trying to figure it out, it can feel very lonely. Mm -hmm. And what we've done is spend a lot of time in finding other young women who are on their way. They, they're not successful by any means. They've done a little bit of work and they still have more to do. And they share their stories and what they've learned and how they want to improve. So that can be inspiring and encouraging and motivating and I say secondly is just to get started start something yeah, start something great stuff thank you very much for us uh, bootcamp host from April the 28th to May the 1st and just go to sheleadsafrica.org and you get all the information right yes indeed thanks for being here today thank you <laughs> we'll see you guys in a moment please stay with us